Cancer, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for March 6th through to the 12th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. So I'm jumping straight on in and your first energy is the Three of Cups. Beautiful. This is an energy of joy and celebration. So we'll, we'll see what this is about. Um, sometimes it's celebration of growth. It can mean that you know, the seeds that you planted in your sort of previous season are starting to give you results. You're starting to see the success. It can also be a beautiful energy of, you know, time with friends, time with family, joyful moments, joyful occasions. Okay, or celebrating some kind of outcome. I have got the magician. Okay, maybe you've been trying to manifest something, trying to make things happen in your life trying to turn that base metal into gold. It feels like you will be celebrating the success of the actions that you've taken, or maybe there is an action cancer that you are needing to take, some kind of bold action. Yes, it can be a communication with the uh, Mercury link to the magician. And if you do take that action, it feels like with the three of cups, that there will be some kind of happy outcome from that right what else we've got all oh, the full because you got all the big ones here cancer so um the action that you are taking is to initiate some kind of new beginning some kind of fresh start uh, the full is aries energy and aries energy is all about the one that goes first the one that makes those bold moves those emperor moves strategic moves here to kind of play the game of life to your advantage. So trying to manifest something, it feels like there's a fresh new start. Now with the fall, it's about um, stepping onto the path without getting too hung up on the end game or the end result, because it's about the journey. But I think it will feel like a celebrated new beginning with the full energy. Right, let's see what this pertains to. So, Cancer, I'm going to get your nine card block out. If you would like a personal reading or healing, the first link down below will jump you across to my website where you can check those out. Um, grab my Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to begin interpreting the cards for yourself. That's absolutely free. I'll link that down below. And um, if you want to take a deeper dive into learning tarot, my paid course is The Initiation. And that's where I teach a full foundation of tarot and my signature process for reading the cards. Join me on Instagram if you would like daily readings and I do pull cards for followers. I am planning on doing that this week. So you need to be over there for when I put the shout out. Um, use the link down below or the account that I've put on screen here as there are fake accounts out there. Okay, see you in just a moment and I'll speed things up. Okay, well Cancer, these are your cards and there is a big story emerging here. I've got justice. It feels like there is some major change, some justice calls that, you know, it's time for you to make in your life. So I'm going to jump into the heart of the reading and I've got the Eight of Swords here and I think this is where you've been coming from or for some of you, you may still be here at the moment. Now, this is a sense of feeling stuck in your life and you know, wanting to make changes or, or wanting to step onto new paths, but perceiving that you're trapped where you are and you can't make that happen. Now, um, Spirit wants you to know that there is a way, that there is a different perspective that you can take on this, okay, to free yourself from the situation. Now, it could be that you're trying to just sort of apply logic to the situation and sort of understand it from that point. Um, you're going to need to feel your way through this as well. There's a lot of information coming through intuitively um, in the gut feelings, in the heart, that are really trying to guide you here. I mean, the moon and the high priestess in this reading is very, very much an energy of strong intuitive um, energy coming into your life. So you may also be really needing to see things for what they are in a situation. Sometimes we just pop the blindfold on, put the blinkers on and keep going. But it feels like you're at this moment where you're really getting clear that maybe you've lost your joy in a situation and it is time to really shake things up. 
In the Four of Cups, I see someone who's looking at the Three of Cups. Remember, that was our first card out. I want to get my joy back. I want to get things growing and moving again. But at the moment, I feel like this. I'm in a, a situation where I feel stuck or stagnant. Or with the Four of Cups, sometimes, you know, we're, we're bored or we've disconnected from the situation, accepting, well, you know, this is my lot. I committed to this. Um, I'll just keep going with it. Well, Spirit really does have, you know, different plans for you you could say here cancer okay and i think there's been some kind of powerful awakening to that king of swords is here aquarian energy and this is the energy of taking a big old zoom out and seeing the big picture this could have been, it could have been a conversation with someone that was just like the penny drop moment but the king of swords is really about um being again being strategic making some changes to transform your reality that's what i'm feeling here and with the king of swords coming through this aquarian energy it feels like it's time to do things differently there is a unique new path opening for you here now there's also a strong energy of um, all will be revealed in this reading between the moon and the high priestess and, you know, the path is still a little bit in the half shadow at the moment, but it's going to be when you really make the decision, I am making changes, I am moving through to the new, that's when the universe gets the memo, and that's when the universe starts sending you new opportunities in different packages. So the Page of Cups, I feel, is some kind of catalyst for change for you. It's generally some kind of emotional messenger that pops up in your world. Now, um, yeah, this could be the offer of, uh, you know, new work career situation. For some of you, this may be in love as well. But generally, the Page of Cups is an opportunity that we didn't plan for or is different than what we what we were seeking or thought that we wanted but when it shows up and after us getting over that sort of initial surprise we start thinking yeah you know what this feels this is it you know this feels really really good so the page of cups is here some kind of synchronistic encounter um you need to be open to it though because in the four of cups i do see someone who is a bit shut down to new energy coming in so just be mindful if someone's trying to connect and, and, and communicate with you and offer you something that you do stay open. Because this is your justice call here. Justice is really about the change, the modification, the adjustment that needs to happen to bring those karmic scales back into balance. Sometimes to embrace the new we may need to end or release from a legal situation. This could be uh, you know, a mortgage or rental agreement. This could be a marriage contract. This could be a work contract. You might be entering into a new one of one of those situations. So I feel like there will be some kind of um, legal situation here and you will need to know your rights. I'm also feeling cancer, that's why you felt so stuck, because at some point you gave your word or your signature to something and you, you're needing to revoke that. And you're not someone that takes things like that lightly. But sometimes, you know, things change, people change, we outgrow things, then, you know, we, we go through awakenings and what we committed to is no longer in alignment for us. That's what I'm feeling. So we have a situation that, yeah, might feel disappointing, might feel, you know, like a loss. Maybe at one point it was a three of cups, but we see three spilt cups here. But that situation eventually um, stopped growing or you lost your joy in it. But what the universe is saying is that this new opportunity, you know, is right behind you and is here to lead you on to that new path. Now, for some of you, this page of cups may have already come in and you're keeping that secret. So that is why it's time for you to be the magician and step into your power and control. 
communicate to everyone in this situation where you're at and what's going on so that that new path can really begin to reveal to you and you can actually step onto it. Sometimes the moon talks about our you know, inner um, fears, insecurities or, or worries coming up because of the change in the journey that we will need to go on. And that, that is, you know, that is a natural part of change. But remember, the fool's journey is all about trusting in that path because instinctually and intuitively, you are being led to it. The universe is saying, I'm not going to tell you, you know, exactly what's going to happen. All will be revealed in the right time. But what I can tell you is that if you invest in this, if you put a plan in place here, and if you take the first step this week or in the weeks around this reading, I promise you growth. I promise you that one pentacle, you know, can become the ten of pentacles. You know, a new abundance situation, long-term success, and long-term achievement. So the Knight of Pentacles is about having patience that this will unfold slowly but surely for you. Um, put that plan in place but this is your indication that it is the right time, Cancer, to take the first step this week. Intriguing. Let's get you a Divine Abundance Oracle card to close this out. We have got Reframe. Yeah. It, this is happening for me, not to me. So you might be kind of going, well, why is why me? You know, I, I made a commitment. I thought that was going to be my thing. I thought it was going to work out. And yet it feels like you are being shifted and you will need to maybe dissolve some kind of contract. This is happening for you, Cancer, to shift you onto the path that will give you the result that you desire. Now, that previous one, you know, was not a mistake because you had to learn important lessons. It was your testing ground for when you get to this situation that you'll, um, you'll take that learning in, into the situation. That's why there is the greater indicator of long-term success here, okay? So good things are coming. Put the plan in place and take that first step. That's what I have for you. I hope this resonated for you, um, Cancer, and um, gave you some clarity, some guidance, some insight. I'm here cheering you on and wishing you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.